Hello, this is Christy. In today's tutorial for Affinity Designer, I will show you a very easy way to create a retro looking 3D text. You may have seen them around the internet, 3D text with a very long sort of a 3D volumetric looking shadow or the letters look like they're pushed behind and stretched. So let's see how this effect is achieved. It's very easy in Affinity Designer. Unfortunately, Affinity Designer doesn't include uh, an extrude tool, and I believe they don't really intend on adding 3D sort of functions to it. So we will have to be creative and create this effect using a different way. So let me just start. I'm just going to go to the text tool and I'm going to type a text here like that. And it looks kind of retro. I specifically chose this font. So how are we going to achieve the 3D effect? Watch on the right side, the layers panel, because we will be using this a lot during this tutorial. So my text is blue now, and I want to have a darker blue sort of stretch behind it. The first thing to do is make a duplicate of this. To make a duplicate, you can press Ctrl J. And if you don't see anything, you do see a new layer being added here, but because the object was duplicated in the same place, you don't see anything visually. So you can drag this to see the dupl duplication. But I want to zoom in, control and mouse wheel. And I'm going to move this slightly off to the bottom and slightly to the right, just a little bit. This will give you the sort of direction in which you want to move or stretch your shadow if you want. So in this case, I'm going to go to the object and first of all, let's change to darker blue like this and remove the stroke from the right here, stroke, make it zero. And also in the graphics here, we're going to make this a uh, shape layer. So let's select it and group it like this. So it is now converted to curves. I'm going to make it back into a dark blue. And now my object is actually a shape. All I have to do is now duplicate it a number of times. I'm going to make one copy now again and move this slightly to the right and slightly to the bottom. And now Affinity will remember the transformation I made with the duplicate and pressing Ctrl J again will duplicate the object in the same direction. And do this as many times as you want to how deep you want your extrusion to go. The bottom object in my layers is the original text. I'm going to just drag this to the top so I can see it. So now you see all of the darker bits going behind it like that. I don't want to leave them like that. What I want to do is when I'm satisfied with the how deep I did it, select all of them, hold down the shift key and just add using the add function here. So they now become a single shape. If I change the color, maybe lighter blue, whatever, you can see they change the color together. They are a single object. And now for another touch, I'm going to click in here. And if you zoom in, you notice my original text has a stroke. I want to take that off as well. Or you can press this button here, no line style. And my darker bit, I want it to be seen around to the left also, making it sort of a, a stroke. I will select the, the dark shadow and I'm going to give it a stroke. Go here to the stroke size and make that larger. If you don't see the stroke, you can change its color here or just keep going. So there you go. It's the same color and it's quite large. You can change the way the stroke works if you draw it behind the object or in front of the object. So move it to behind the object. And now we want this stroke to become part of the back object as well, because it's now an actual stroke, but we want it to be like it's expanded. So to do that, we go to the layer menu and select expand stroke. So now the stroke is a shape on its own. You notice it has a different layer here. I'm going to select the stroke now 
and the back object, the shadow, hold down the shift key, and again, unite or add them together, like so. So now they're both a single object. My main text is a single object, and there you go. My effect is pretty much done. With this approach, you can't actually change the angle of the shadow once you've done it. So there is another one I will cover in a different video where you can actually change that after you have done it. You know, a limited angle. If you want to add another touch of 3D to this, you can select the main text again and make that a shape. Change it to white again. Or maybe blue, the light blue. And then let's make a duplicate of this, Control J, and make it white. Okay, and now I'm going to make another duplicate, Control J again, and this time make it black, just so you can notice what's happening. Move this to the left and up a bit. And now select the white one as well, Shift key, hold down the Shift key, and use this subtract operation, like so. So now the white text has a, the, the blue text has a white sort of shadow edge, 3D looking um, bevel if you want. You can play with this. You can apply an effect like a Gaussian blur, for example, to zoom in. Let's see what it looks like. Activate Gaussian blur and just turn the blur a bit higher. You can see that this is getting blurrier and it looks a bit sort of fat. Zoom out, deselect everything, and it, it looks like a smooth sort of embossed text. So there you have it, a very simple effect. Um, you may have seen it in other places. I hope this was useful for uh, beginners especially. This is useful when you're getting familiarized with Affinity Designer. And thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, feel free to subscribe and uh, for more tutorials. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. See you next time.